Hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Lanelle and today I want to talk about the different photography gear that I'm going to be using in 2023. Um, I like watching gear videos, so I hope you enjoy this video. The first item on my list is a film camera, which is the Mamiya 6 or 5. I've been using it for, I think, around about two years now and so far it's been my go-to film camera it's very light and portable and works for the type of shooting that i do which is just walking around different cities and biking around different cities and shooting i have also the um, rb67 but that one is just way too heavy and a camera that i definitely regret buying and probably will make a video about that but um yeah definitely the Mamiya 645 the 645 is definitely doing me good right now for the next item which is something that I took way too long to finally invest in which is basically a good quality tripod and this tripod that I got was the Peak Design tripod I got the aluminum version which I'm currently using now they also have a carbon fiber version which is double the price um so i didn't get it but um i'm assuming it works just as well probably even better but before i had the um amazon basics tripod which is very flimsy and plasticky and something that i definitely shouldn't have tr um trust um putting a camera on i definitely dent the front of a few lenses and chipped off pieces of my camera from using that tripod so I finally invested in a good quality tripod and definitely don't regret it if anyone is sort of avoiding picking up a um, better quality tripod definitely um, bring that up higher on your list of gear that you want to get because you definitely won't regret it for this next item I currently have about three videos in progress about it but definitely want to include it on here because it is a um, piece of gear that I'm using in 2023 and plan to use for a long time and that is another film camera but this time a 35 millimeter film camera and that is the Bessa R2M if you want like a, a Leica M6 but can't afford one I think this is a very good um, uh, um, alternative whoops for the like m6 I've only shot a few rolls of film through it right now but I really enjoy it and I think it was a really good investment and definitely a camera that I don't see myself selling anytime soon and um, for a while I wasn't shooting 35 as much as I used to I kind of got into medium format and never went back but um, this is been one I've been picking up more than my Mamiya 645 but um, that's all I, I'll, I that's all I will say about this camera because uh, again I have videos coming up about it so the best of R2M for the fourth and final item is a shutter release cable I currently carry two of these all the time in my backpack because one always breaks or sometimes I leave one at home but um, there's nothing um, super spontaneous about it. It's just to avoid camera shakes and I can use it for long exposures. And um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about it, but if you haven't tried long exposures or just want something to, um, you know, make, some, make your shooting a little bit easier, um, I would suggest buying one. So that is all the items for my photography gear that I'm using in 2023. If you want to see a video on the, I guess, video gear that I use for these videos and for filmmaking, I will definitely make a video on it. Expect to see a new video next week and thank you for watching.